You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter a and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am Groot. I am watching you, Tree. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... An Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Is that my toothbrush? 
Great! Now I need a new toothbrush. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you're here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. It's all yours. Ta-da! So, about my raise? No wonder Rocket's the way he is. Oh. 
Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't Lord. be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the... Guys. I think we should... hear our group for once. I... am... Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously, flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? 
<laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I bet Groot has a rich, velvety voice. to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled, but we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons, and not all axes are meant to cut down trees. I am Groot. The Lady won't hurt you either way, Groot. I'll make sure of that. Why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. I am Groot. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. Hey, Groot. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. This could all have been avoided. Okay, here we go. I ever mention how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there! Never seen anything like it! Meteorological suicide is what it is! Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here! Less whining, more walking! Hey, Stormlord! We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this! Yes! What? Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Yo, Quill! Fortress is this way! Uh, of course he knows the problem. It's called scouting, okay? No, it's called going the wrong way! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, you were lived! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. 
You should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Smash them up, friends! Make your peace! Sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. Food. You sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! You think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully! This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. 
That don't sound like no lady either. It's kind of pretty in a noodly chaotic way. These words could describe the mighty storms of Katath as well. Weren't any storms where I grew up either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. Hello, Mystery Goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet, I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with an X. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. Nice! Hidden passage! Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um, listen, while well, it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Are you two coming? Yeah, just a sec. We're having a moment. A moment? <clears throat> Exploring Quill, cuz uh, I really need to talk to you. There's something um, personal I need to get off my chest. It's the kind of thing you don't want people, uh, uh well, you, you know, right? What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Quill. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? Not sure I get where- th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine, have it your way. Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still 
no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. But what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. Th that, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry then. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. You're up, Gamora. Once I had to defend an ambassador from the Nightmare Realm. It shifted depending on who was speaking. Into what? It became your worst fears all tangled up together into one creature. What did yours look like? Nice try. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. And maze. All those trees look like like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. No, that's just the name. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill, you out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I uh... Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me dead! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. For you to stretch it What's Shatari tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I do. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? A little rock. Thanks, Peter. I mean, maybe this is why Elvin is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He is not a nut of any kind. She is a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. Oh. 
Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet, right. with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. <laughs> Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Voice oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> yes, I know we're in a fire. Watch your back! As it ain't. I no way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Come on, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now 
what's the hold up? Here. No. Just making someone else should cross the death pit first. Being root of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Root says just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Once it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Cliff, we are not alone here. I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's we'll scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. No giant monster. All good. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you.
said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to erode its lies. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? A few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. We need something to get up to those cables, Peter. Do you see anything on the wreck that can help? The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Oh, what is taking so long? Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. <sighs> See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. I wonder if I can get down there. Here goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Did he perish? Hey, Quill, you dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. Hey, you think he's stuck? Hey, Gamora, could you pull me over? What if you wedge your sword in the crack? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh, yeah. We made a deal. You can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind bumble treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Seknark was such a hot spot for the war. Everywhere was a hot spot for the war. Okay, yeah, but still seems like a pretty random swamp hole to be fighting over. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys! Looks like there's a way down here! Well, you gotta see this ship! Okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? Some schmack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, hit fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Well... Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Like, just come to, just please the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA cord, you know, it's some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. Worth a shot. Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? No! Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. Couldn't you just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. 
Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Gamora, oh, can you reach that cannon? That... I can, but I won't be able to get it out if that's God. what you want. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? Yeah. And dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends who's head. Ever met a Regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? You're a cool dude, Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is gonna work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. Where did you guys go? The uh, employee evaluation? Did you pass? That's confidential. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I do have augmented intelligence. What is 55,787,000? divided by 9,500 Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go off! I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. He wants to know how Quill's guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? He won't let me take him apart to find out. I'm... Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> how many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. We're holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to learn. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professional. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It's 
really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the flark? Oh, not talking. <gasps> yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Huh? That is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter, why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster work food. Your taste buds. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. Our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Spaces. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. <laughs> Brute says we should check things out over here. Oh, 
Seknarth ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknarth 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. Most pleasant way. That can't be true. Freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat! So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Not this hydrated. Take it down, Gamora. for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid claw monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the crap out of one of my valued team members. Because I think we've all earned that chance. I am eager to behold the Monster Queen. Let's just get this done. Farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fork in Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. Point of even getting the flark and things looking like the new business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drax. 
Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Response good to soothe and tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to kill this thing? 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Your daddy was a man, a man people wanted dead. Now that stuff's coming for you, a price hanging on your head. Grandpa says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Into the fire, are you ready? enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there.
Well, look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were... Sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. I want you home right after the movie. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, mom. Oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game.
How are you getting to the movie? Shoot. Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. The sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else. Can you God's explain coming. that again? Uh, After we sell Groot, we yes, sneak back in and use my fight. tracking device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Arthur's team. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock him and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. 
Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot-warm sort of thing. You mean hot-cold, right? What? The Galeran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold! A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not blame me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I... I assure you, I said, lady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. 
Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady! Hey there, hi, Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's, he is just kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wished to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. Ugh. 9,000 units for the Flora Colossus Destroyer. 9,537. Cage. Deal. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. with a Sagnarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa! Hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax! What part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scotty father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. I 
And you just looking at these goons. They couldn't handle their drink. Throne room entrance is down there. So we just gotta, you know, keep our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Buvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me. This baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, muscles. Pull got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Mulberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop the store, and it'll find Groot. Junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Uh, the Signorfian night air is refreshing. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. Of course she can't just have a normal friggin' ground level chair. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take much to impress you. Whoops! Done. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. This one. Uh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! Oh, here! Yep. Okay, here. Uh, primary and secondary relays are connected, you Zarnooks. And here. Got it. Switch this. Done. a mess. There's wires everywhere. Have you seen the Milano? Hey! Those are much more organized than they could be. This one.
was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. What the flark was that? Uh, just a little slip, no big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure a scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Does it? We are not the ones wearing jet boots. Rocket, wait for us. You did not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Definitely not a fan of whatever this is. This creature is grotesque. Oh, what the heck is that? It's my spirit animal. Strong. Looks like a rhino slept with a jellyfish. Door's locked. How exactly are we supposed to get out of here? I'm working on a plan. What plan? So far, we don't go that way. Nope, don't do spiders, snakes, or weird tentacle things. Jeez, what sort of creature is bad enough that even Hellbender keeps it in the cage? We should let all these things loose. Doesn't seem so bad. They're like pets. Like pets. Spoken by a woman who ain't spent enough time in a cage. Group! It's okay. We're here, bud. Hey! I got him! familiar with some of these creatures. You're gonna help me get him out or what? Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flash. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. Groot! 
It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two. Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, twin pulled the toes. Good to have you back, Groot. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Tartar. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the Galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend. Yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! Well, now. 
able to get a swipe through their defenses. Oh, you brute. Their reputation as skilled warriors precedes them, Peter Quill. So what if these scuts are tough? So what if they've got a reputation for ripping people's heads apart? We're no slouches either. So come on, join me. Pull out those blades and bombs and branches, and let's show them who's tougher. Who's with me? Shall be your downfall. 
long as we don't miss! I slice off a piece and it grows fast! Smack him inside! Just some general life advice! Peter! Help! Oh, crap! Escaping Lady Hellbender's ride. We'll see about that. What the? Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Invite me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sent the board, and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't find a way to say it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, keep your star pants on. I'll go check the array. Bring her back. I need to know that. I just have to... 